So a question we're asked a lot is, what's the difference between general liability and professional liability? So let's talk about that today. All right, so general liability, and really if we want to simplify it and break it down, it responds to two things, third-party bodily injury and third-party property damage. So if we're a business, business owner, and we have a general liability insurance policy, Primarily, it's going to respond to when a third party is litigating uh, as a result of bodily injury or property damage to that third party. So you can think of things like a slip and fall in a parking lot as a primary example, or we're in the construction industry and uh, uh, we cause, you know, we leave the welder uh, on and uh, we, you know, we cause a fire and burn a building down. We've caused property damage to a third party. That's really at the core what the general liability policy is intended to respond to. Now, conversely, the professional liability policy is more for what we would consider kind of monetary type of stuff, and it's really tied to our failure to render our professional services. Okay, so we think about things like um, med doctors. Everybody's probably heard of medical malpractice. So if a doctor fails to act in their capacity as a physician, as a doctor, and somebody suffers a loss as a result, that failure to render professional services, those types of things are what a professional liability policy is designed to respond to. But there's a, it's, it's pretty broad. There's a lot of different professions. I mean, if we're contractors, or if we make a product or whatever, we have a professional obligation to uphold that could cause a third party to have a, a monetary loss as a result of our failure to perform our duties as a professional. So uh, a good example there is um, we're a contractor, we do uh, heating and cooling and we go through an apartment building is, is our client. We do the entire heating and cooling, si cooling system in that building and we find out that we've done it off spec or we were in error in what we did. We have to go in and tear out all that work and redo it. And our client, the apartment owner in this case, has their timeline delayed 120 days as a result. And now they're losing rental income and they're suffering a significant financial loss as a result of our failure to perform our professional duties. Those are the kind of things that a general liability policy is not going to respond to. And something like a professional liability policy is needed to respond to that type of event. So it's really important to understand your business, understand those risks that exist where third parties can bring lawsuits against us. And unfortunately, all too often, people think that that general liability policy, because it's oftentimes one we're required to buy in contracts or otherwise, that that's going to cover most of those things that can happen. Whereas there's a lot, there's a lot of gaps there. Professional liability policies can do a really nice job of picking up some of those uh, more professional exposures. So hopefully that gives you something to think about. Reach out to our team if you work with us or reach out to any advisors you have. Really ask questions and understand where do your general, where does your general liability policy, if you have one, where, what's it going to respond to? And then where might we need to consider filling some of those gaps with a professional liability policy? Reach out to us with any questions. We're always here to help. Thank you.